Good morning, Cobalt. I made you breakfast. Oh, yum! You're cooking for breakfast? Oh, no more dry toast for me. <laughs> uh, do you not like bread and pastry? Oh, uh, would you like me to make you something else? What? Oh, no, no. I dislike toast, like dried bread in a toaster. This is amazing, there's sprinkles and that's a hot dog, that, this is great! Oh great, I just threw together the pastries and purees I found in your pantry. Hmm, <laughs> that's a lot of peas in one sentence. Well, if you don't mind, I'm gonna have some. No, no, please, dig in. I'll have some too. Oh, I'm sorry we're in a rush, I've got work today. Oh no, it's fine. Well, I better be off. I left 20 bits on the table for you, if you wouldn't mind to go grocery shopping today. Yeah, of course, I passed the market when I was walking here. Oh, great, I'll be back at around six. Awesome, okay, bye. Phew. What do I do now? The cab's obviously relocated since I've left, so I can't return. I guess, I guess I'm going shopping. Whew. Okay, so anyways, don't mess this up. Hello, ma'am. Can I tempt you in some bread rolls today? Yes, please. They smell delicious. Hi, could I have some milk, please? Hi, could I get some muffins, please? <laughs> help, help. Put indigo in bunnies behind, behind bars. bars. The earth the in a Kumpegas' garden is watching. Oh, wait. Good. Help. Put indigo bunnies in behind, behind, behind bars. Put indigo bunnies behind bars. The EUB guard is watching. watching. Oh, my god. Oh. Can I interest you in a flyer today? Help, 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 I notice this place is very big on anti indigo pony posters. Oh yeah, that whole thing. I think it's a bit over the top, but I guess it's about the awareness. Hey. Hi. What if I went to your work tomorrow? Oh, like as a guest? Sure. Awesome. Well, I'll uh, put away the dishes and yeah, that'll be that. Sweet. Good night. Good night. If I discover what they're working on, I could track down the camp and save them. I... I just hope that... I just hope he doesn't find out I'm lying to him. He's a nice guy. But I want to live. And that's why you don't spin around at the spinny doors on your first day here. Okay, proper tour time now. So there is the reception desk. If she's in a good mood, she'll give us candy. Is she in a good mood? Let's go see. Good morning, Officer Cobalt Blue here. Here to uh, check in. Uh, yes, Cobalt, I can see you, and uh, good morning, Honey Rays. Oh, no, my name isn't Honey Rays, I'm Sunny Rays. I'm a guest here. Uh, honey Rays, Sunny Rays, funny days, stupid. Be Let's get to work. She's not in a good mood. Let's go. Okay, anyway, those are the rooms we have meetings in, and that is the water cooler. Wow, it's amazing. Wow. Yeah, it's the most interesting thing in this office. Too amazing for pony eyes, so we keep it in a cupboard. Anyway, and over here is where I'm having my first meeting today. I mean, of course, you don't have to come, but... Oh, no, I'd love to! Oh, brilliant! We're discussing our new methods of eradicating them. Fun. Good morning, everyone. Thank you for coming to this extremely confidential meeting. Cobalt, who is she? Oh, well, she's just a guest. Uh, a friend, I thought, who could uh, maybe help the meeting a little bit. Hmm, alright. Has she been examined? Yes, of course, sir. She's ready to ruin my house, so of course I checked her thoroughly for a star, and she has not got one. Hmm. Good. What? No, you didn't. I, I forgot, okay? Hey, you. Uh, Sunny Rays. My name is Sunny Rays. Why are you wearing a skirt? Uh, with all due respect, sir, is that really so strange? Yeah, tons of men wear skirts. But not many act so suspiciously. 
I feel like I've seen you before. Evening, ladies. Take off your scalp. Um. Uh, but but, but I've been examined. And and that's weird. And um, self-conscious. Leave her alone. You understand me? Hmm. Okay. Man, on to business. I have a proposal. We make booths. It will be mandatory by law for every legal citizen to step inside a booth, take off their clothes, get examined, and if they have stars, well, they get arrested. How does it sound? Oh yeah, I see yeah, that. That's pretty good. I like yeah, that. I like that. Yeah. That's, that's pretty yeah, good. Okay. Uh, but wait, um, uh, what if an indigo pony just fled? It would be like hiding cats. You couldn't force everyone to get in there, logically. Not to mention naked examination by force is disgusting and illegal. And couldn't one just use foundation and powder to cover it? It's only a star, is it not? Well, other than yourself, we're usually just naked anyway. But apart from that, I guess you make good points. However, if you have no superior ideas, I will follow through with this plan. Uh, how about a um, survey? Uh, so, so <laughs> If you're an indigo pony, I would take B if you're not. <laughs> okay, carry on. Well, I uh, used to. Well, <clears throat> I told my friend here that I uh, used to work as a waitress, which is true. But before then, I lived on a farm. Yeah. Uh, well, the farm was run by a big family, or at least that's what it felt like. <laughs> And uh, that family eventually all turned out to be indigo ponies in hiding and were taken. Anyway, I learned a certain set of characteristics from them um, for this survey. Such as? Well, they all liked tomatoes. Yes. So everyone in the country who likes tomatoes is a suspect. Well, put handcuffs around me because I had tomato pasta last night. Uh, um, and, uh, oh, they hate animals. I, I remember this one girl called, um, Moonrise Sparkle. Yeah, well, she'd freak out and get scared around animals and she'd get all angry and have to calm her down and to, shh, that reminds me of something. We didn't always do tests on indigo ponies. We usually just arrested them and executed them. But when we did, we found out that animals go very wild and uncontrollable around them. So, we use animals. We test every suspicious looking pony. If the animal is crazy and wild around them, viola. We can check them. Ah, Celestia will be so pleased. I'll go tell her now. I knew I should have lied. Hey, hey, Cobalt. That's my name, use your own. Uh, um, I'm, well, I'm, uh, I'm scared of animals, you know? Well, I don't want you to be scared of the test, but legally I can't let you take a different one, but if I'm fast enough, I can get him to change the test. I think I already have a better idea. So, wait up! Uh, okay. <sighs> I can't believe I lied to him again. Oh, God. 